All right, well, I don't know how good the fishing is going to be today because it just rained. It was pouring down for a little while. Um, but it's already drying back up, but the water's all murky and muddy. But I don't know, I'm going to try it anyway. What the heck is that? Well, there's some kind of dead animal floating right there. I can't tell what that is. Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm going to try out something. Something I've used before. But I got another one. I'm going to give it a shot. It's one of these. Fishing rod pin. Uh, these are not to be confused with pinfishingrods.com. Those are... Uh, much better quality like if you're gonna be seriously fishing with a telescopic rod I would recommend going with those instead of these these are the ones that are all over Amazon all over eBay for really cheap and uh, I'm actually I'm not even gonna mess with the the reel the bait casting uh, quote unquote bait casting reel that comes on it it's actually more like a crappie reel but I'm like it's it's made out of plastic and it, it's got a break on it, but I mean, there's, it's not a very good reel. It's very hard to cast out. Uh, what I do have is a spinning reel that actually came with one of these, one of my older ones. So I'm gonna put the spinning reel on there, rig it up, and I'm a, and uh, we'll see what I can catch. It extends to. That's probably about three, three and a half feet. It's basically the size of like an ice fishing rod. The uh, eyelets on it are really, really small. So it's weird that they would make one of these with the spinning reel. But uh, I mean, if you do get one of these cheap ones, I, I recommend going with the uh, spending a few dollars more and getting the spinning reel out of it rather than the cheap little bait caster. I mean, it's. It's not a very high-end thing, so don't expect a whole lot out of it. But the spinning reel is easier to use, and it actually works. I mean, it doesn't work very well, but it works. It is hard to maneuver on a lure. This, you gotta throw bait on this, I guess. Whenever I would use them before, that's what I was doing. I was throwing night crawlers and stuff like that, baits. Didn't really throw lures on them. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm actually, I'm collapsing it for a minute because one of the reasons I got this was for, for fishing down here on the river walk and stuff, like something I can conceal easy. The bass have just not been biting lately. I think I've caught one bass this whole month so far. <laughs> Big fish right there. Just swam off. Jogger scared him. But all the trash and everything that was floating over here is cleared out. It's gone. It's crazy. Whatever that dead thing was that was floating there, all the stuff off the surface, it's all gone. A fish. I got one. Finally got one. Uh, oh my god. 
Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to land this on this little bitty rod. This is a fucking monster. This is the biggest one I've ever seen out here. What? Oh my god. Let me get him away from this. Oh man, this might even be a PB. I don't believe this. I do not believe this. Man, I need to be able to, I need to reach down there and lift this thing. Oh man, I've got a net in my truck, of course. I can't reach this thing, it's way down there. Wow. I'm trying to see if I can reach down there and lift this thing. It's too far down, I can't do it. Damn, he's not even fighting that hard, really. Oh my god, this thing, this is at least a two and a half, maybe a three pounder. Not a PB like I thought he was, but geez. Whew. This, this is the biggest fish I've ever seen out here. And I can't even pick him up. <laughs> he's a good... He's pretty far down there. I can't reach him. I need to find... I'm going to give him some slack. I really hope he doesn't snap off here. wrap that around I need to go get my landing net okay got my net Okay, my, I actually dropped my GoPro in the water, but it landed in my net, so I should be okay. Uh, it's not quite working right now, but hopefully I'll be able to get it dried out. This thing is 0 .05 smaller than my PB. It's about 3.8 pounds. Uh, I'm going to try to get him released. He's been out of the water for a while, so I'm going to get him released. Hopefully he's okay. Alright, well I just brought in the 3.8 pounder. Uh, I released him good. I didn't record the release because my GoPro's messed up and I needed both hands, but uh, he, he did swim away. It took me a while to get him revived, but he swam off on his own or her own, whatever. That is the biggest fish I've ever seen in this little area. It was almost four pounds, 3.8. And uh, when I was reaching down, you probably got a good shot of my GoPro falling into the net. Uh, it did get a little bit wet, but uh, I did have my waterproof case on it. Unfortunately, the back cover was not the waterproof cover, so it did get wet, but I don't think it got too wet. I think I'll be able to salvage it, you know, get it working again. Just need to get it dried out, uh, but <laughs> I can't believe I didn't really bring the fish in. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't flip him up, but that was more of uh, I didn't trust the strength of the line. I couldn't pick him up out of the water. I, didn't, I thought the line was going to snap. But this rod actually brought the fish in. I am completely shocked by that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll probably fish around for a little bit more, but I won't be able to record much. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for watching.